Here it is, $1.7 trillion. Utterly ridiculous. Have you ever seen something that is this much money? No? Maybe? Who cares? Well, I'll answer that question of who cares and who asked. We the people care. We the people asked. It's a 4,000 page omnibus spending bill that's being fast tracked through the Senate. There should be literally no one voting yes on it, because it's, again, 4,000 pages being fast-tracked. And it is $1.7 trillion that we're just basically giving away. Of course, uh, we could just send 45 more billion dollars to Ukraine, as if they need 45 billion dollars. We've only sent... 54 billion dollars. This was a correction. But, um, everything else fucking reeks. It's a ridiculous bill, and nobody should be voting for it. Not even Democrats. I don't, I'm gonna be real. It doesn't seem like it goes for anyone. So, instead of actually arguing against the bill, people on Twitter, like a good old Jordan Sheridan, what an amazing guy, says Rand Paul. Fierce, brave warrior against the $1.7 trillion in hazardous debt. Wow. But also Rand Paul votes for $1.7 trillion tax cuts for rich folks. Wowza. I mean, okay. Was it Trump that did that? Because if I recall correctly, that was Congress. So, different thing. And also, what what's the problem with tax cuts? Everybody loves tax cuts. Just because the rich got it this time doesn't mean that the other people don't. In fact, a lot of people in America got tax cuts under Trump's administration and under other administrations. I don't think Obama had that many tax cuts. But still, $1.7 trillion of hazardous debt. And apparently, uh, people like Jordan who I'm just gonna, I just showed, exists, and they're like, oh my god, you, you're talking about this thing, but what about this thing four years ago, five years ago, that happened, where you were against it, uh, this time, but not last time, you're a hypocrite, who cares, let's focus on this thing here, because it's 4,000 pages, 1.7 trillion dollars and people want it passed they can't even read the damn thing and they want it passed oh uh, yes our money being the people's money being sent to these folks just to be passed on shit that people don't care about like i can i pro i can't list a single person i know who would genuinely want all of their money being sent to ukraine i just can't because people have their own livelihoods, people have their own needs and necessities and wants. You can't just lump all of this shit together and take all this money and then throw it at things that the people didn't ask for. Moreover, you can't just do that with, well, you can apparently because they did it, but you can't, you shouldn't be able to just put down a bill that is 4,000 pages long, tell everybody to read it now for this day and then vote immediately. That's ridiculous. Do they think the congressmen are fucking supercomputers that can read 10 pages a second? No, they are not. They are human beings. They are not fucking computers. They wish they were computers with this shit. Uh, there's good things happening, though, like Rep Representative Dan Bishop, who is a congressman proudly representing the 9th District of North Carolina, he and his team are reading 4,155 pages of it. Now, this started at 11.28 a.m. CST. It's a good thing, because according to him, it expressly prohibits CBP funding from being used to improve border security and allocates $410 million towards border security for other countries. And, of course, um, a simple billion dollars for membership in global multilateral organizations. And it has a lot of talk about fish. Which, I mean, okay, 
Alaska. So yeah, that's what's going on in America right now. We're having a $1.7 trillion bill with 4,000 4, pages to it. And it's utterly ridiculous. And I don't think it's a Republican versus Democrat issue this time. It's just an issue. I don't... I genuinely don't think that Democrats want this. Uh, and if they do, I disagree vehemently. This is ridiculous. So, with all that being said... That's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. Six minutes? God damn, this one was long. But pol politics, my guy. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Mr. Clarkin out. Hey. Waiting to get right, only leave you left behind. Up goes the early bird, soaring down. Scrounge around for whatever words might be obtainable. Never knew who flew about this first. So what's available? Not a lot, it seems. What you gonna do for it? Anything I means? Type of dedication you gotta have as you're blazing the path. Never know who's trailing you, hoping to get familiar with the ways and the things that we do. Bought hard and whole air.